Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I want to say thank you guys for uh, letting me goof off yesterday. I'm not going to lie. I uh, was just lazy Sunday and I didn't decide to record. So uh, that's on me. Uh, but that being said, there's a lot of stuff coming on the channel and uh, I decided to bring out Mini Derp, aka Geronimo, aka the Sheridan and have a little bit of fun with batteries that are apparently low. So, uh, yeah, what kind of fun can we get into on a Great Wall encounter? So, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of things coming. First of all, we got World of, yeah, World of Warships Legends on the horizon. That's coming up. Then, we also have Borderlands series coming up. I'm going to do a Borderlands the Remastered, followed by the pre-sequel, followed by Borderlands 2, and hopefully all of that leads up to Borderlands 3 when it comes out in uh, September. So I'm super excited for all of that. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. Um, we're going to continue to put up our World of Tanks stuff, obviously. Um, though, I don't know if I'm going to do two videos of World of Tanks and the Borderlands, or if I'm just going to put up one video of World of Tanks and one video of the Borderlands. Uh, but we're also playing Gen Zero at the moment, so we got to split some time between uh, Borderlands and Gen Zero, at least until uh, we get tired of playing Gen Zero. Um, so, what do you guys think so far? Are you guys enjoying any of the uh, new stuff out here? Uh, anybody got the Tier 10 Italian yet? Are you enjoying it? I've heard a lot of bad things about it. We get hit from the left side right away, and we get ammo wrecked, and we see the guy shoot, so we're waiting for him, but I don't want to waste a shot. Plus, it takes forever to aim in. Luckily, this AMX 5120 broadside on, unfortunately, the round goes straight into his frontal armor on his turret instead of hitting the broadside of that beautiful, squishy little tank, uh, and we didn't get a paddling out of it. But don't worry. We're, we're gonna... Oh, hello. Please do. Just sit there for me, baby. Oh, and it goes straight into his track. I mean, sniping with a derp gun, not necessarily the best idea, but we did track him, and he gets finished off by the Super Conqueror. Uh, so, all in all, not a bad result. Now, we know that the M48 patent down here in the center, that's one of the few tanks that actually can spot me. Um, so, I just want to get to a point. Now, he's engaged, so watch this next shot. It's filthy, guys. Are you ready? This is probably the best hit ever. 1,050 damage. That was officially a padlet. <laughs> that is a high roll and a half. I didn't know, uh, I guess I've hit close to a thousand a few times, but I don't remember ever doing over a thousand in one shot. And that was, that was, that was pretty, pretty nice, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, just like that, we're up to 1800 damage. Now look at the right side of the map over there. Doesn't look like we're out of control, you know. Looks like they've got it relatively under control. And uh, so I look back to the left side, and I'm going to try to snipe across again. And uh, you'll see just in a moment, there's going to be a Sheridan come bursting out of the seam. I'm like, okay, wait for it. Aim. Fire! And that is a very, very long distance to shoot a derp gun. And it come up short, and it was also slightly late. So uh, unfortunately we missed, but that's the risk you take when you're shooting a derp gun across the map. Like, literally at the very edge of what you can see. Now, out of nowhere, this side just gets completely obliterated. I'm like, I gotta get over here and help. Uh, so I use my mobility. I immediately notice that this guy's weak and he got tagged again. So that makes him a guaranteed one shot. I just gotta aim the shot. Don't shoot into the front of him and wait for it. Now we do get a little damage there, not much. Broadside of his tank, 430 damage, no problem. That was a nice kill. Now, I thought about running away for a second, and then I was like, you know what, I can't leave these guys. We have to try. Uh, we're outnumbered over here, but we, we can definitely try. Now, this IS-7 and I are going to get into a groove over here on this side, and it is beautiful. Helping each other out. So, uh, the Wizzy 111-14 is up against the IS-7, and IS-7 is doing everything he can to get himself out of trouble. And so uh, we're just putting around right into the backside of the 111 14. 405 damage, a good roll for a high explosive round on a heavy tank. And uh, that allows him to be a one shot kill. Unfortunately, the IS 7 kind of dirks the shot and doesn't hit him. But we are guaranteed to kill him with this next shot right into the back of his turret. 
Uh, now, I tell them, be careful, there's two Japanese heavy tanks over there. Don't stick your head up because high explosive rounds that's what they usually shoot. So uh, don't do it. You're low health. I'm going to try to distract them. I was spotted the entire time, and as you can see, this Oho is, like, watching. So now that I know that Oho is watching me, I know he's super slow, so I just back off and try to help with the Type 5 Heavy. I wait, aim for the shot, and I derp it because I, I hurried the shot, and it's a derp guy. So we derped it straight into the ground. Luckily, this Type 5 has no idea what he's doing, and he's screwing up against this. And then, of course, the Oho hurries his shot, completely screws the pooch. And wait for it. Side of his tank, 272. He's a one-shot kill. Is he going to get a... Come on, IS-7, finish him. If he doesn't, I'm going to have to. Wait for it. Oh, he's looking at me, and then I get tagged by somebody else. Watch this next shot. Watch it. Aim ahead, aim ahead, aim ahead. Drive into it! <laughs> 585 damage, we take him down, securing our booty. And this Type 5 is still completely unable to do anything with this IS-7. And uh, now we only need 341 damage. Are we going to get killed? Yes, 344 damage, and that leaves just the Oho that has no health left. IS-7 is going to be able to roll around the corner, put him down, blows his top off to boot. Now, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting us to pull that mess off, but we managed to do it because we stayed together, we worked together, and even though he wasn't on mic, I had to uh, I had to give him a little uh, thank you and GG. Like that was that was a good team effort right there. I couldn't have done it without him, and he couldn't have done it without me, because at some point or another, you need some of that off of you, There's some of that pressure off of you. But we've done pretty well up to this point. We got four kills, 4,100, and 600 assists because we did spot early in the game. So, uh, yeah, we're going to roll back over here and see if we can't get an easy uh, snipe on this Pentacom Fog in 7. He's only got 644 health, and I'm not going to lie, I thought that the T-92 was aiming at him and was ready to fire, so I'm trying to snipe the kill early. Shot out. Come on, aim. Oh, no, it went just to the left and above him, unfortunately robbing us of getting us to steal or kill that guy's or kill that guy's steal steal that guy's kill but we still had a really good game a nice fun uh corner to help a teammate and we managed to pull off a pretty pretty nasty upset over there but uh yeah as you can see is 5300 damage skull anthony great job pleasure playing with you four kills 4100 for me so if you like what we're doing punch the like button leave a comment below Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.